Hi, I'm Rebecca, founder of the Dry Eye Company in Pulsebow, Washington. I run the dryeyeshop.com and dryeyezone.com websites and uh, some Facebook support groups for people who have dry eye or wear scleral lenses or pros devices. Today's session is part one of a series on preservative-free saline solutions, specifically about the differences between buffered and unbuffered preservative-free salines. This video is meant both for patients who are wearing scleral lenses or pros devices and for optometrists and contact lens technicians. So let's get started. If you are a scleral lens user, you know you have to use preservative-free saline to fill your lenses. But not all preservative-free salines are created equal. There are two basic categories or types of preservative-free salines, buffered and unbuffered. This difference is not well known and definitely not well understood. What does buffered mean? Buffers are ingredients that you add to a solution to change the pH balance to, and to help keep the pH balance stable after you open the container. When a solution is going in your eye, ideally you would like that solution to be pH balanced for the eye, in other words, to have the same pH as the eye. Almost all eye drops and contact lens solutions contain buffers uh, so that they will be the right pH and so that the pH will stay the same after you open the bottle if it's something packaged for reuse. In the case of scleral lenses, when we fill our scleral lenses with preservative-free saline, that saline solution is being held against our eyes all day long. That means the pH of it probably matters even more than something that you put in your eye that's gonna drain out pretty shortly. So like I said, ideally, we would like a saline pH to match the eye, but does it? So what is the pH of the human eye? and of saline. On average, the pH of the eye and tears is seven. It's balanced. What's the pH of saline? So saline, or what we call normal saline, which is used for all kinds of medical purposes, including eye care, is made of water with 0.9% sodium chloride or salt. Saline has a pH of about 5.5. That means it is acidic. It is nowhere near the pH of the eye. Furthermore, the pH of um, a normal saline, once you open the container that it's in, it pretty rapidly starts dropping even further. So that means we've got a bit of a mismatch between the pH of the saline and the pH of the eye. That's where the buffers come in. Two common buffers that you'll see in a saline ingredient list are boric acid and sodium borate. By adding a little bit of those, they raise the pH up to about seven. I find that people get the idea of buffers confused with the idea of preservatives. They see extra ingredients and they think, oh, that can't be good. But actually, those ingredients have an important job to do to set the saline to the right pH. So let's take a look at what's buffered and what's not in terms of the specific brands. On the unbuffered side, as you can see, we've got Lacropure, which is a relatively new entrant to the market. They came out after the discontinuation of Unisol 4 a couple years ago. Uh, it's made by Menacon. They're doing a terrific job at that. Um, the only other ones are actually not labeled for use in the eye. Lacropure is labeled for use specifically with scleral lenses, which I really appreciate. The other ones are Adapac and some other brands that I don't have listed there, like Majidos. Those ones, which most of us refer to as the little pink vials, are saline that's actually made for respiratory therapy. They use it in nebulizers, um, but it's been quite common for many years to use them also for rinsing and filling scleral lenses. So all of those types are unbuffered saline. They're just straight sodium chloride solution. That's what you'll see on the label. It's 0.9% sodium chloride solution. The ones that are buffered, we've got Pure Lens Plus and Scleral Fill. Um, and then those of you who've been around for a while and we're familiar with it, there's Unisol 4. All three of those are buffered preservative-free salines. So the real question about buffered versus unbuffered salines at a practical level for scleral lens users is, why should I care? Or should I even care? This just comes down to the practical matter of, are you having any issues with the lenses? If you are using unbuffered saline successfully, uh, no harm, no foul. It's working for you, no reason to change or worry about a thing. Um, but there are two issues that seem to be associated with unbuffered salines that crop up for a lot of us, especially those of us with drier or more sensitive eyes or with advanced corneal diseases, people like transplant patients and so on. Those two issues are comfort 
and fogging. On the comfort side, for a lot of people, the, the more acidic solution, the unbuffered type, is just not tolerable going in their eyes at all. Um, for others like me, I can do fine with it for a couple of days. I used to travel with unbuffered saline all the time. I found the vials more handy. Um, but once I'd been using unbuffered saline for a few days in a row, my eyes really started feeling it. I'd see a little more pinkness. My eyes would just start feeling a little leached. They'd be less comfortable when I took my lenses out at night and I knew I really needed to get back on buffered. Then there's the fogging issues. Uh, fogging is a big deal for scleral lens users. If you're in our Facebook group, my big fat scleral lens, you know that's one of the top troubleshooting topics there. There are so many different things that can play a role in lens fogging, including the fit and the coatings um, of the lens um, and the cleaning solutions that you're using. But preservative-free salines are also part of that equation. Uh, we've had many people in the group over the years and also people I've talked to on the phone who reported that once they moved from unbuffered to buffered saline, their fogging issues went away or at least got a lot better. So those two issues issues, comfort and fogging, um, can be reasons for some patients to switch from unbuffered to buffered saline. So my advice for people considering the whole question of buffered versus unbuffered is First, obviously, keep your doctor in the loop on whatever you're doing. Talk to them about this. Ask them what they know about it. Ask them what their patient's experiences are. Second, if you're not having problems, you probably don't need to sweat this one. Um, but if you are, if you're having comfort issues, if you're having fogging issues and you're using unbuffered saline, um, then it's probably time for a chat with your doctor and maybe talk about um, experimenting with some buffered preservative-free saline such as Pure Lens Plus or Scleral Fill. That's all I have for you today on preservative-free salines. Thanks for visiting the Dry Eye Shop's YouTube channel. To reach us with questions or comments, please call or text the phone number on the screen or email service at dryeyeshop.com. Feel free to contact us with any questions or video topic suggestions. Additional resources are currently shown on the screen and they can also be found in the description box. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dry eye shop content.